hardest thing I think I'll ever have to do is try to make amends uh, to my wife. Um, it should be easy because she's the one that knows my deepest, darkest, and still loves me, still stands by me. And how do you how do you make amends to somebody that you deceived in such an amazing, grotesquely, ridiculously painful way? You know, I, I, you know, I completely changed the trajectory of her life, and under false pretense and. You know, she still saw something in me that I didn't see, and I continued to hurt her. I continued to prove her wrong, and she still, still didn't leave, and still, still, still knew there was something there that I never saw, and it took a long time, it took years, but she she finally got to the point where you know uh, something had to change we had kids and you know when you have kids everything changes and uh, when, when she got to the point where she realized that she had to, she had to put her kids first. So she she needed she needed me to, you know, go or get off the pot, and uh, some you know, uh, I needed to make that final decision. Was I going to be the man I needed to be? Was I going to be the dad I needed to be, or was I not? And if I wasn't, well. And we needed to deal with that. And uh, she took it upon herself to 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 seek out information and seek out an avenue for something that I could do that could help me pull me out of the, the deep dark hole that I was in. And you know, not only did she stand by me, she she carried me most of the way when I couldn't carry myself. Making amends to her is something more than just, something so much more than just an apology. It's, it's a lifestyle that I have to live on a daily basis. It's a, it's a mindset that I have to have. It's a, it's a, it's a daily showing to her that I am finally the man that she always saw that I could be. And, you know, saying I'm sorry just is a pitiful, pitiful way to try to, to, to amend for that. But it's not words that I say, it's a, it's a life that I live. And, I try every day to be the man that she wants me to be, that she needs me to be, and to be the dad that I need to be and want to be. And with every day that goes by that I am that person, that's, that's the only way that I know to make amends. Um, and one of, the, one of the books I've been reading is, you know, women women will say I'm sorry you know they will come out and they will apologize and they will you know they will lay it bare men will show a gesture and you know but no matter how small and because of the, the, the sheer size of my how I wronged her, 
I can't do a small gesture at one time. I have to do a series of small gestures, a series of large gestures, a complete transformation of the person that I, from the person that I was to the person that I am and the person that I will be. And I can only hope that I, I'm granted enough time on this earth to, to show her, you know, just how truly sorry that I am and to, to justify her faith in me uh, so that she doesn't look back 20, 30, 40 years from now and think that she just wasted her life. That is, that is my most important, most important thing that I, that I work on. And it's not a, not a single video that I can put and say, this is what I did and now I've worked through it and it's past. Uh, this is something that is an ongoing daily thing and sometimes I fall short and sometimes I exceed. Um, on the days I fall short, I, I feel terribly small and terribly afraid that maybe I can't do it. Uh, but she reminds me that that's not who I am, that that's not who I should be. And I take that and, I, and she allows me to reset myself and start again. And those instances where I fall short or the, the gaps are, are farther and farther in between, um, uh, they'll never be non-existent. But uh, uh, I just want them to get to the point where they're the exception and not the norm. And I'm just really thankful to God. I, every time I pray, I pray, you know, and thank God for her, for this woman that I don't deserve, but that he's put in my life. When you have somebody like that in your life, you have to do everything that you can. You have to drag yourself across the emotional hot coals to, to pull yourself through some of the most painful, uh, painfully emotional, the most painfully emotionally charged uh, things that you've ever had to deal with and pull yourself through out the other side better for it. Because when somebody shows that much faith in you, they deserve a return on their investment. And she's invested so much in me and she deserves a return on her investment. And that is the driving force for this entire process for me is to give her and to give God a return on their investment in me.